Cycling's greatest event is underway, the Tour de France, and we're going to talk about that this morning, as well as a way that you can kind of get involved, at least vicariously. Uh, Matt Sims is with us. Matt, thanks for joining us, first of all. Hey, thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about the organization that you represent. Uh, the name of my company is Cycle Force Group, and we are a manufacturer of bicycles and related accessories, and I'm here to talk uh, about our our uh, newest brand, which is the Tour de France line of uh, bicycles and accessories. Well, tell me about that, uh, the line of bikes then, starting with, uh, starting with the, the cycle itself. What makes this different than, let's say, a previous uh, year's model? Sure. Um, we're, we're going after a, uh, a really competitive price point where uh, most road bikes are either, you know, they're in the thousands of dollars or they're, they're more of a uh, mass product, and we're trying to hit that niche right in the middle that, that a, 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 new, a cyclist who's new to, uh, new to road riding can... Um, can try our product out and really see if this is a uh, if this is a sport for them. So we're really trying to fill that niche. With with uh, Greg LeMond and and Lance Armstrong out of the Tour de France, did you see any drop off in interest in cycling in the United States? Well, cycling interest has never never been stronger. Um, the 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 interest in the sport um, professionally sometimes dies down a little bit uh, depending on who's riding and um, and you know on a given year, but. But for the average uh, consumer out there, people have been riding bikes uh, for the last 120 years, and, and they, we think they're going to continue to do that, especially with the, with the health trends that are going on in our country and, and, and fuel prices. And uh, it's just a great activity to, uh, to get you out there. Yeah, what does it do for your health? I'm a cyclist myself, and I tell it myself it does all kinds of great things. But really, what are the benefits of, of cycling? Well, first and foremost, it really strengthens your immune system because when your your blood's pumping, you're outside and you're and you're <clears throat> and you're riding. Your uh, your immune system's really building up. Um, naturally, the uh, your body's muscles are activated, and you, and you'll get a uh, you'll feel the next day you'll feel sore in spots you didn't didn't even know you had muscles. Um, it helps balance your circulation. Uh, uh, it sharpens your wits because you need to be focused on so many different. So many different activities at once that um, that really helps you out there. And doing it safely, I know, is very important. My brother-in-law was out and uh, getting ready for a for a, an, an event, and he took a tumble. And fortunately, he was wearing a helmet because that helmet took a lot of punishment. And if it hadn't been for that, it would have been his head. Is it important, therefore, to always wear a helmet when you ride, no matter what you're doing? You know, whether you're, you're a kid, an adult, or a, a novice rider, or a professional rider, we suggest you always wear a helmet. And <clears throat> what your uh, brother-in-law should know is that if he does fall um, and he hit, hits that helmet, make sure you get a new one because they're really they're really meant for one one impact, and then and then it's time to uh, time to replace it. And and you don't want to you don't want to skimp on a on a helmet. It's uh, it's an important tool, and it, it's going to keep you keep you safe. We're seeing more and more cyclists out on our roadways here in central Ohio. What are some of the safety tips that particularly a beginning cyclist may not know? Well, you really want to follow the, tr- the, the rules of the road just as if you were in a, in a car. Uh, you're going to want to signal. You're going to want to yield to pedestrians. You're going to stop at the lights. Uh, you're going to travel with traffic. Um, you know, kids should make sure they strictly ride on, uh, ride on sidewalks. Um, anyone under the age of 10, you're really not ready for the road yet. Um, you know, be, be wary of parked cars because doors will open. Sometimes they won't see you. Then if you're riding at dusk or night, make sure you have a light or a flasher going to uh, make the, uh, you know, you might be very careful, but if, if a, a non-coming car doesn't see you, um, you could be in trouble. All right. Uh, where can we find out some more information about uh, Le Tour de France, the bicycles, and all the other equipment? Sure. You can visit uh, our website, which is tourdefrancecycles.com. Um, you can go to our Facebook page, which is uh, Tour de France Cycles, and that's on Facebook. And if, and if you go there and, and, and you like our page, uh, you'll, you'll automatically be registered to win one of our bicycles. Um, we're on Twitter, uh, Pinterest, YouTube, all Tour de France Cycles, and you'll be able to find information on our product. Um, you can purchase our products at Amazon.com, Overstock.com, any one of your favorite retailers. And um, you can check uh, your local Walmart stores, which are carrying some of our kids' bikes and one of our road bikes as well. All right. And what sort of accessories are available now within the uh, the Tour de France line? Sure. We have everything you need. We have locks, lights, pumps, um, bags, uh, helmets, and uh, 
we even have t-shirts. So anything you need, we have it. All right, Matt Nims from La Tour de France Bicycles and Accessories. Matt, it's great to talk to you this morning. Thank you. Hey, Clark, I appreciate your time.